Yo yo, welcome everybody to TCR Trinity Competitor Racing and welcome back! In just a few days, we will have some new races on the new game, in the new season, with some new drivers, new tracks, lots of new, it's refreshing, I don't know if I'm quite ready for it. Yo, yo, welcome everybody to TCR, Trinity Competitive Racing, and uh, for the first time, welcome to Season 16 here in the Silver Class. You got Cyanical in the background. What are they going to go? Three, three wide. Bulldog will cross the line, but let's see how this thing shakes and makes the true winner of round number one. It's not, Z-Man's out of fuel. He's out of fuel. Bulldog gets it. Wow. Z-Man had it in the bag. He ran out of fuel. Different opportunity. Halberg. Man, look at the flyer on him. He might even get F1 nerd. Oh, a little bit of contact. So we'll have two laps now. So no DRS at all. So all on Cyanical when he wants to go. And he is gone. And now he's kind of caught him napping a little bit. It's going to be Zionical to grab his first win. Nice aerial coverage sponsored by Goodyear. For oh, and Jove's around in his first race. Oh, Jovey. That's a BSC. Cyanical picked up some... Or he's going to he's gonna take advantage of this. He's going to get off the soft tire. And this is the three-tire special. I think otherwise he would have stayed he's out. He's on the hards, yeah. Man, he's not using any. He's going to stick behind and get double over. Oh, my here God, here comes Deeswish. Whoa! Deeswish was like, you guys forgot about me. Wow, I need a lie down after that one. That was insane. Good luck, Golden Class. Good luck, Platinum Class. Look at Zyonical. And he might be right. Look at He's on the intermediates. It's not even raining. If it does start raining here in the next two minutes, boy, Zyonical will look like a genius. If it doesn't start raining in the next two minutes, Zyonical yes, will look like an idiot. <laughs> There's no in-between. Well said. This promotes Zyonical, who at one point looked like an idiot, is looking intelligent day. Luca will give him the room. Oh, they have oh. a little bit of contact. We'll save it for the last corner. Oh, oh and he hits he him. him. Oh, man. As Zionical crosses the line to take his third win and win the French Grand Prix. Like I like to tell my little brother when I out drive him at golf that there's enough room there that they could build a Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> That right there is going to be your champion right there of this class. He just moved through them like butter. Oh, there's contact! Oh. Paboo's into the wall and he is out. Haas do not have any points today. Fluke is in prime position, I'm telling you. He got by Zionical. He's on fresher tires than Daniel Morris. If he can keep it clean here in the last 10 laps, this could be a really good opportunity. Kluka will grab his first win in TCR and in the silver class. He will create his own history as a Luca in the silver class. That's really cool to see. Uh, congratulations, Colby. Uh, we'll see you in the interview here in a few minutes. And there's contact at the front! Zionical gets spot out and he is out of the race! Oh my goodness, the championship leader out of the race for his first DNF of the year. Oh, he's, whoa! Oh, that's a big one. Oh, they switch had to slide it into the chicane, and Pabu hits him. There's Zionical going to try and make it. Three a wide! Run. There's contact. And, and they're all out. Zionical's out. It's a Royal Rumble. There's never a dull moment here at Monza. That's for sure. Oh, my goodness. It's you know what I just no. saw? It is raining, and here comes Kluka in the pits. Is he going to put on inners? Oreo African has not pitted yet, and he has a six-second lead with just four laps to go. Yeah, I wasn't going to say it, but now if something, if something <laughs> happens. He's disqualified. Oh, that is not right. That's an error. f nerd doesn't get a good exit. Here comes D-Switch. D-Switch looking to the inside. It's going to be a photo finish at the line. It's going to be... Oh! It wasn't F1 nerd or D-Switch. I think it was F1 nerd by eight thousandths of a second. Wow, that's got to be the closest finish in TCR history. I know it's just a sprint race, but come on. These two had a photo finish in the sprint race. Can they have another one in the feature? D Swish goes to the outside. F1 Nerd defends. This is for the win. And there's contact. And F1 Nerd just spun out. You know what? I'll say one safety car, two VSCs. Ooh, I like that. Yellow in sector three. 
Wait, so that was two DSCs in the safety cars now. You are the man when it comes to predicting things today. F1 nerd came close to winning last week in Australia. He is going to bounce back and get back in championship contention. F1 nerd wins the Singapore Grand Prix round 12. It is Chabar's fourth season in the silver class. He just wrapped up his second constructors championship, but for the first time in the silver class, Chabar is a race winner. He wins the Texas Grand Prix round 13. Welcome to round 14 for the highly anticipated Las Vegas Grand Prix. And it's a big race for Zionicle and F1 Nerd. The Drivers' Championship separated by just eight points. Zionicle wins the Las Vegas Grand Prix. He goes into finale with a 15 point lead. F1 Nerd will win the finale race here in the Brazilian Grand Prix. And it is this guy. It is Zionical to take the Season 16 Silver Clash Championship. He wins it at Brazil. Alright, hello and welcome everybody to Season 16. As tonight, the drivers of the Golden Class will take on the virtual LaSalle International Circuit for the Qatar Grand Prix. And now they're three wide secrets to the middle. Good job, nice overtake. And coming off the uh, final turn, good. KD swerving his way. He is going to win round one for season 16's golden class here at Qatar. That was a real master class there by KD. Oh no. Storming, uh, oh, as we get another oh, safety man. car and a uh, good oh. thing you called the over on that. <laughs> Look at him, he's gonna go all the way to the inside, heading into turn one, and he dives it in. Now he's in the middle, three wide, as he got through two. Holy moly, they're and almost four wide. This is absolutely insane racing as we have this group of four cars. And now the rear wing open, overtake on, he's gonna go around the outside. And with ease, he makes the pass. Now what can JMB do? And Rimsley, the Alpine driver, comes off the final corner. He's going to win round three in Abu Dhabi. We are off with FFR Raikkonen. He gets a good breakaway there, but we have Carson closing in as they go too wide into turn one. With a little bit of contact in, Carson is into the wall with two Alpines closely behind. FFR Raikkonen and Carson came together there. As we see FFR Raikkonen elect to go ahead and pit here, I'm on board with FFR Raikkonen to see what tire he selects and where he will come out on track. FFR Raikkonen coming out in P6, and he's going to have to chase down five people if he wants to win this race. Here he comes, and he's within less than three tenths. Raikkonen now pulls through into the race lead. FFR Raikkonen from pull to the win. You can't fault that. A fair credit to both of them to keep the cars with it. Oh, hello. He'll have the inside line into left field. The Aston Martin, though, can he hang it there? I don't think he can this time. The Alpine's on the inside, and he takes second position. What's a superb move. But the Aston Martin comes back into Cobb's corner. They're side by side, A through Cobb's corner. Fantastic scrap. Absolutely fantastic. Remsley just doing a superb job. Got pole position, got the fastest lap, has led every single lap of this race, and now he's going to take the checker flag to win the British Grand Prix and complete the Grand Slam. As Whoa! Remsley goes for a move. Jeez, that's a late block. That's a huge oh, block there as Remsley goes off. They just send it in. Oh, oh. God. That's close. Uh, oh, contact him oh, into the wall! Oh, oh no, oh, oh no. All right, well, here we go. Final lap of the race. Who's it going to be? Is it going to be Lion or is it going to be Raikkonen? Lion crosses the line. He finally takes the win here in Golden Class. The tires are hard, but Zionical, known as Z, makes it look easy as ABZ. Not his first TCR win, but I think his first Golden Class win as a reserve driver. We've got a safety car. A safety car has been deployed. A safety car has come out. Oh, the safety car's in. The safety car is in this lap. As it just comes in, as they were coming around the far corner, this is gonna be now drama down the main straight. We're back under green. 
Everyone trying to shuffle about, getting through at least. Contact between Swerving and Dirt. Contact again, they both spin. Oh no. Alpine one, two, once again. How about that? That's Kingston. Oh, <laughs> nerd is side by side. You don't often see cars go side by side through there. Bit tricky to do it, but they made it work. Case gets through. Ramsley, a drive through penalty for speeding under the virtual safety car. Drama at the restart. Unbelievable. Camden Lucas, now your race leader. Here comes Rockstar with a lot of speed. Camden can't do anything about that. Rockstar moves into the lead. Rockstar defending hard. He can't defend hard for much longer. The Alpine slips back into the race lead. Line wins here in Australia. Luca will claim his first podium here in Golden Class with a P2 finish. Zionical, meanwhile, the other Red Bull will cross the line. Is it enough? No, it is not. He misses out by five thousandths to Remsley. Five thousandths. There is no more raindrops on the camera lens of the halo. Now it's a matter of time for when everyone just go back onto the slicks. I would imagine though they go onto the... Oh my goodness, that was so close to nearly getting into a disaster. Zyarkal will cross the line first, but he will not win the Grand Prix. This is the Grand Prix winner. Rockstar will win the Singapore Grand Prix. Camden Luca though is not messing around. Oh, this contact! Lion wins the race here at Turkey of the Americas and is your season 16 Golden Class Champion. Congratulations to GTR Lion. Giggles out of the race. A safety car has been deployed. Looks like Charles is coming in. You have to box in these situations. And here comes the Aston Martin. Falls to the right hand side. He takes the race lead. Sir Charles takes the lead of the Las Vegas Grand Prix. An unexpected victory has come on board here. Sir Charles will cross the line. He wins here in Las Vegas. Unbelievable finish. And that does conclude Golden Class here in CCR. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Trinity Competitive Racing for another season of the Platinum Class. Silent going defensive, they're going three wide for the lead into turn one. Borzan has it at the moment, there's contact, oh, nice and off the track goes the Ferrari. Oh no, Borzan, Borzan. has spun out under safety car. That's at the main straight he did that. Side by side in turn 11, B Tom on the inside. Who's going to get out of this corner alive? None of them are lifting. Bama squeezing him slightly. Man, they are racing really hard. Bama oh, takes the lead. The Into the final corner. B Tom trying to get around him. Bama will win in his platinum debut. He gets the Bahrain Grand Prix round two. What a race. Oh my word. Contact there! For fourth place, TJ goes around and professional make contact. And, and, there's, and there's contact! He spins out in front of the Aston Martin! Gunther Steiner just kicked his door down. Inside of God and Lee, he'll be passed on. Oh no, he doesn't! Contact! Oh, they get together! Oh, and Forza spins out! Multi car crash, flying Jippo out of the race! The big one in turn two! Oh no! Maybe it's fun! Maybe it's fun! He's thrown it away! Unbelievable. Gonna take a peek to the inside into the chicane. Ooh. Oh, what a pass. He got him. Great move by Confessor. Mamma mia. Teammates to the line, side by side. Preview. Photo finish. <laughs> wow. That That's was teamwork. Cool. What a lovely moment. And if you look at the top four, separated by less than a tenth with one and a half laps to go. The top three, you, you can't even put sandpaper between these guys. Who gets off the line good? Confessor gets a great start. Bama not as well as they head down into turn one. The Red Bull oh, no, and there's a spin and a crash. Oh, we're going to be three wide here. Into the hairpin. Bama might get a two for one. Confessor will get himself eight points. He wins the sprint race. Fire up Flo's gonna absolutely send it and completely miss the corner. 
Tracks over here, buddy. It's gonna be a McLaren sandwich. They all make contact. Oh. Look at this train here headed down into sector two. Man, you gotta get out that whistle. Former teammate reunion between these two, like you said. And Seafree's gonna get a nice switch back. They're side by side into this left hander. This has been long overdue for Forzan. He comes to the line. Forzan wins the Spanish Grand Prix round eight. Forzan is going to make the move to the inside. Beats. I'm going to take it three wide for the lead. They all get together, and Forzan drifts through the grass, and he spins around in turn one. Nebby closing in very slightly, Beatum blinking. Nebby's gonna make a move here in the chicane, it's just a matter of where. Right here to the outside for the win. Nebby around the outside, he's gonna push Beatum. They're gonna be side by side for the win. Beatum on the inside gets the acceleration and Beatum wins the Japanese Grand Prix round 10. Unbelievable. Look at this pack here in the midfield. Oh, Whoa, we got a major accident. Dark Shark out, got any weeb out. And that is a virtual safety car. He is going to get a boatload of points by winning the sprint race and the feature race. Silent will win the Australian Grand Prix round 11. The gap's down to 24 points. First helicopter shot of the night, and like I said on Tuesday, the helicopter shot here is goaded. He's kind of coming back to the line, but he got to slow. There goes Silent. The goal record, the Danny Rick move I was talking about. He does. Oh my God! What a send! Oh, and he parks the bus on him and gets the spot. Three oh wide, boy! Fifth place. Two for one for Bats Plus down to the hairpin. Oh, oh major lockup and a big stock up effect at the front. Lawrence in what was the most dominating race of the season. Lawrence wins the Brazilian Grand Prix round 15. VTOM is the season 16 Platinum Class Drivers and Constructors Champion for Mercedes.